Shalom wa makim. Ka halal Yahweh ba Hashem Yahushai ba Hashem ha rekar kadesh. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me the truth and peace and salutation to Yahakim across the four corners of the globe, preaching this gospel in truth and sincerity. Salawam is Brother Yas with the GMS Louisiana Saints camp back with another lesson on how two thirds will learn the hard way and America is being destroyed. OK, two thirds will learn the hard way and America is being destroyed. All right, Zechariah 13 and 8, and this shall come to pass, meaning this is going to happen, that in that that in all the land, what land? America, said the Lord, Yahweh, when you see all caps, that's talking about Yahweh, the Most High, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. 66.6 .6 will die in America of Israelites, all right? Two-thirds of Israelites will die in America, man, all right? And I'm going to explain to you why. But the third shall be left therein, okay? Third is talking about the one-third of Israel, all right? 144,000 in the one-third, okay, of uh, men, women, and children, okay, that is going to be saved from this up-and-coming destruction. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire, okay, and will refine them as silver is refined, all right? And will try them as gold is tried. See, we're going to be tried that our temptation is quickly approaching, man, where you're going to be tested whether you're going to stand stiffly for the Lord or whether you're going to accept that radio frequency identification, <clears throat> excuse me, identification chip, okay, which Esau is going to try to chip the whole world, all right? Um, and it reads... They shall call on my name, and I will hear them, all right? So when the elect are in distress, they're going to call on that name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is a strong tower, and he's going to hear the elect and protect them, all right? I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power, okay? And the men of the Lord, we're, going to, we're proclaiming Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is our power right now, and we're telling the whole world, according to Jeremiah 28, and uh, I'm going to bring it out, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. And it reads, and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what we're telling these people, man. World War Three. Is, is happening right now, all right? Pestilence where a, a, a large amount of people are going to die is happening, okay? COVID-19, COVID is, is just a, it's just a piece of shit baloney pestilence, okay? But real pestilence where people are just dropping dead right, left, and right is going to happen, okay? All right? And it says uh, of evil, okay? Because bad times is coming. When you break that word evil down, it means bad times, horrific times. And as you can see, um, what happened in Houston uh, this last week was just a prelude to Jacob's trouble and all of the horrible, horrible things that's going to happen over here in Babylon, the great, okay, which is the land of confusion, which is also known as America, all right? And two-thirds, you're going to get your ass kicked. Why? Okay, let's go here first. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, my people does not consider. And the ox is a stubborn, stupid animal, okay? But even though, even they know where the master's, when, when you go into that word crib, it's talking about um, uh, the, basically a house, all right? All right, so even these, these stubborn, uh, stupid-ass animals know where their master is, know who their master is, okay? But Israel does not know, all right? That's why our people don't even know, like, uh, Zelia Banks. This bitch says she marrying a Jewish man, and this bitch, she, she, she doesn't understand that she is a Jew, okay? And then she look like she Judah, so she's a direct line of a Jew, okay? But she's ignorant and dumb, all right, and need, and she loves the, her oppressor, man. That's why she's marrying the nineteen forty eight, Ada. All right, and good riddance, man. We don't want, we don't care about none of them bitches. 
okay? But you women do not consider, you you Israelite do not consider, man, all right? Verse 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, all you do is evil, wicked shit. Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, all right? You abandon your how by sending outside. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, all right? And the Lord is fucking mad, man. With righteous indignation, man. They are gone away backwards. You niggas just keep going backwards and digressing and digressing and degenerating and degenerating. It just is 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 horrible to the state of Israel at the moment, at the present moment. Verse 5. Why should ye be stricken anymore, man? Why should the Lord keep putting hell on you and you keep getting worse? Ye will revolt more and more. See, you're gonna get worse and worse. The whole head is sick. And the whole heart is faint. And from Judah all the way down, man, is sick, man. Okay? Two-thirds, you are fucking totally sick in your head, in, in, in your mind, in your heart, because you follow the ways of the heathens, man. You know? And that's why the Lord is going to destroy you people, man. I can't wait, man. Jeremiah 4 and 22. All right? And it reads... For my people is foolish. See, you people are stupid. They have not known me. You don't know nothing about the Lord. All you Christians, all you people that talk about you know about the Bible. You you don't even ha you don't even read the fucking Bible. You don't read the Bible, Salakia. They are sadist children. Let's look up that word sadist. Oh, I got my phone on uh uh, do not disturb. I can't look that up, but it means stupid. Okay, they are stupid children, and they have none understanding. Meaning they don't understand it. They don't get it. They are wise to do evil. Yeah, they wise to follow Esau. Okay, have adultery with another man's wife. Okay, do all kind of wicked shit. But to do good, they have no knowledge, man. And because you don't have no knowledge of your how about seeing outside, you're gonna be destroyed for that, man. Along with Esau, Edom, and America. And this is a beautiful, 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 beautiful thing. All right? Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See? They think they know so much. You think your college degree is going to save you. You think your job is going to save you. None of this shit is going to save you. Not even money is going to be able to save you. Oh, man. let me. I've been thinking about this scripture uh, for a while. So I just want to bring it out. <laughs> it makes me feel good. <laughs> Ezekiel 7 and 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets. <laughs> and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. See? See, when Yahweh Bashim outside comes down with his uh wrath with his wrath, okay, Jacob's trouble, okay, his righteous indignation, then your money ain't gonna deliver you. So fuck Bitcoin, fuck this American dollar, fuck this whole conglomerate foe called America, which is really a corporation in its entirety. All right? And this is why these devils, Lucifer. On the left hand side, all right, these elites are going to come down on the men of the Lord, man, because we don't give a fuck about this money system or his system at all. We hurling in Yahweh by Shimmy outside. That's what we care about, all right? So fuck everything else, all right? Other than these words in the scripture and the brotherhood, fuck everything else. All right, that was beautiful. All right, Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed for lack of wit of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. See, how about seeing me outside forgetting uh, you and your kids, man? You and them dusty ass kids are going to get their head knocked off, blown off, or, or however you, you, you're supposed to. Uh, die over here in Babylon, okay? All right, Jeremiah 15 and 2. And this shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? <clears throat> then thou shalt tell them, Thus said the Lord, 
Yahweh, such are such as are for debt to death. Some of you people who are going to die horrible deaths, and such are for the sword. All right, to sword. Okay, and that's going to be a weapon of of of, of killing. And such are for the famine, okay, because they're not going to have food out here, okay? Houston learned a valuable lesson, all right, which this is, uh, the whole world should learn a lesson from this, from what happened in Houston. America's, Americans should especially, because this is what's going to happen on a bigger scale. The famine and such as are for the captivity to captivity. Some of you, uh, you people are going to get put in them FEMA camps, concentration camps, re-education camps, jails, whatever you want to call them, okay? Verse 3, And I will appoint over them four kinds, all right, said the Lord, the sword to slay, so any weapon of destruction to kill you, and the dogs to tear, you're going to have dogs out here eating your flesh. And fowls of the heaven, you're going to have birds out here eating your flesh. And beasts of the earth, you're going to have animals that are going to change their place and devour you people. To devour and destroy. You see that? That's what's about to happen to all you people that want to be joined in hand with this society, which is ran by Esau Edom, who is the so-called white man. Beautiful. Proud as niggas. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. So the whole world is about to get punished, all right, for their wickedness. And the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughty of the terrible. So start with Esau, Edom, you about to be put down. All you other nations are about to be put down along with Esau, Edom. And two-thirds of Israel that like to follow Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you're about to be put down too. All right? For joining hands in hands with this devil, okay? Verse 14. And it shall be as a chase roll. Yeah, you're being compared to a deer, man, caught in the headlights. And as a sheep that no man take it up, they shall, they shall every man turn to his own people. See, uh, all these nations are going to go back to their nations. There ain't going to be no intertwining. Okay? You're going to have black with black, so-called black with black, so-called white with white, so-called Chinese with Chinese. Okay? And flee everyone into his own own land and they're trying to flee right now okay but they got travel bans on all of these different places okay and when jacob troubles really uh heat up over here in babylon you people ain't going no fucking where man you barely could leave now without having to take a covid 19 test or go through all these restrictions to travel across seas okay there's a lot of travel bans on uh on going to different nations okay so you people are gonna get stuck over here in babylon and die Verse 15, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. See, you, you join hand in hand with this devil, you're going to fall by the sword, man. All right? Because you're going to partake in his punishment, his judgment. All right? So you can follow Esau all you want and say that uh, every white person ain't wicked. But hey, you're going to learn the hard way. All right? You're going to learn the hard way, okay? Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. You're going to see your little kids getting their head bust, all right? All right, and this is beautiful, man, because you proud-ass people need to be crushed. You need to be crushed, man. And the one way to crush your ass is take away everything you love, all right? Men of the Lord, we're suffering. We're going through pain. So, hey, it's your fucking turn, man, all right? And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. See? See? So you can follow Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all you fucking want, man. You're going to die a horrible death. Okay? Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Yeah, you're going to see your kids fucking getting their head exploded. Okay? Getting their head popped off. All right? Getting raped. Getting, getting jugged up with knives and, and getting their fucking throat split. You're going to see all of this stuff, man. Your own blood, your own kids, man. All right? And this is going to be grievous and very painful for you, okay? And this is what you get for going against your high by seeing outside, despising him and his word and his men, okay? Beautiful, all right? Their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, 
that houses shall be spoiled. Yeah, they're going to take everything and steal everything out your house, man. Okay? And their wives ravaged, man. Ravage goes into rape. You people, you women are going to get raped. You men are going to get raped, okay? But particularly right here, you women are going to get raped. All you proud-ass bitches, your time is coming, okay? And that's beautiful. So two-thirds of Israel, hey, you're included in this. Okay, as America's being destroyed, you 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 fucking two thirds that's joined hand in hand, you're being destroyed right along with it. Okay, okay, and that's a wonderful thing. All right, verse uh, seventeen. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. Okay, who's the Medes? All right, that's the Russians. All right. Which shall not regard silver. See, here we go again. They're not gonna care about no money, man. All right, this fiat fake ass money that you work so hard for, they're not going to fucking give a damn about it. If if you have silver or gold, they're not even going to care about that, man. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. See, they don't care about your money. So 18, they're bows. And when you go into bows, it's talking about those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Also shall dash the young men to pieces. So you people are going to get fucking burnt up over here and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb all right so these intercontinental ballistics are not going to have pity on you you pregnant woman okay with babies their eyes shall not spare children all you ch people with children toddlers all right they're going to get knocked off and killed verse 19 and babylon okay babylon is the land of confusion which is america all right the glory of kingdoms, yeah, this place is supposed to be the, the chief place of you Chaldeans, man. The chief place of you elites, man. The glory of this of, of you elites. The beauty of the Chaldeans, okay, which is the, the baking family. Excellency shall be shall be as when as when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So just like Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown, this place is gonna be overthrown. Okay? Good riddance. Bye bye. Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, yeah, perhaps sleeping with other men's wives, okay, uh, having uh, same sex, okay, sleeping with the same sex, all right, are set forth for an example, okay, so what happened in, 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 in Sodom and Gomorrah was an example to you peons, to not do it again, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, okay, so you were supposed to learn from that, all right, but obviously, America didn't learn from it, because they made same-sex marriages legal, all right, and you stupid other countries, y'all following the shit, that's why these other countries gonna shoot missiles over here on this bitch, all right, okay, so America is being destroyed, man, verse 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the uh, Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherd make their fold there. So you fucking Arabics, you Arabians, you fucking uh, East Indians, you, you, you know, Ammon, all you fucking nations, Moab, Chinese, Vietnamese, okay, all you fucking nations, none of y'all going to be able to come over here and make money and profit off the Israelites because this place is going to be totally obliterated. All right, good riddance. All right, verse 21, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of dull creatures and owls shall dwell there and Saturn shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in, the des in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come. See, America is being destroyed spiritually right now. Physically, it's going to be destroyed in the near future. And her days shall not be prolonged, all right? And the Lord is not prolonging this place, man. The Lord is getting busy, man. And um, these devils are going, going through with it, man. All right, they already vac of of vaccinating people. Okay, vaccinating people, Salakia. All right, they already going with their moves. Okay, so hey, this is this is just the beginning, but America will be destroyed, and all you two thirds that want to join in hand, you're gonna be destroyed right along with it. All right, Jeremiah. 
51 and 1. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, which is America, okay, the land of confusion, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. All right, all you motherfuckers are anti-crisis, okay? All right, Esau, Edom, all you other nations, all right, and two-thirds of Israel, you against the Lord, okay? So you will be destroyed, all right? That rise up against me, a destroying wind. All right, you're going to be destroyed. You devils are going down. Verse 2 And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. Okay, and those fanners are going to be all these other nations shooting uh, nuclear missiles on you, motherfuckers, man. All right, that's going to make it even worse. And the chairs are going to be shooting concentrated uh, energy, concentrated fire on you people. All right, which is going to make this fire even worse, along with the power plants, the nuclear plants, which is going to make that fire even worse, man. And shall empty her land, which there's nothing going to be here. We just finished reading that in Isaiah, 7, uh, in Isaiah 13. Empty her land for in the day of trouble, okay, in that time of Jacob's trouble, they shall be against her roundabout, all right? So we're in Jacob's trouble. We're in the sixth trumpet, okay? We're in that time where these nations are doing all these military drills, okay, so they can let loose on America, all right? Verse 3, against him that bended, the, uh, that bended let the archer bend his bow, man, all right, talking about those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, and against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine, brigadine goes into his defense system, okay, you think you got the greatest defense system, but hey, your system can't be so great if none of these missiles going to miss his target, okay, all 200 uh, million of them are going to hit this target, man. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her coast, man. And that's what's about to happen. You two thirds are going to be destroyed a lot, a, right along with everybody else following Esau Edom, okay? Verse 4 Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, okay? That's America, okay? And they that are thrust through in her streets. All right. See, you're gonna you're gonna die over here in America, man. If you don't get uh with your how about some your size program, man. All right, you're gonna die over here in America. Okay, you don't have to serve the Lord. You don't have to get with his program, but just know you're gonna die over here in America if you don't. All right. Uh, Joel, man, all of this is good. Joel seven. Jo now, nah, Joel 2 and 7, they shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the walls like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their rank, neither shall one thrust another, they shall walk every one in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded, see? All of these missiles, hey, they're going to be in perfect alignment.